Move over, Gotham City. Lagos City is where the new superheroes are from. Meet Guardian Prime, the fifth element born as a guardian to human race, or Nutek, who fights the bad guys with the power of science. Ereti, the ancient Yoruba princess who grew into a mighty warrior. You're curious? Let's visit G.D. Martin and his team of young comic artists as they bring to life African superheroes. If Batman's Gotham City could be found in West Africa, that city would probably be Lagos in Nigeria. Over 13 million people live here, so Batman would have enough opportunities to chase bad guys. But Gita Martin believes that Nigeria needs to have its own superhero. I think it was about five years old. And my mom would buy me comic books and I would trace every single one of them and completely ruin the comics. You know, that's basically how I learned. Um, I would put a piece of paper under the comic and I'll put my pencil over it and I would draw over it so that it would imprint at uh, the back of the comic. Um, I didn't really go to any school, I just basically traced comics. <laughs> Guardian Prime and other Nigerian superheroes are brought to life in this Comic Republic studio. These five young artists under Jita's supervision want to create an African Marvel Comics universe, but they also have to ensure that they generate enough revenue from the few advertisers they have. This is the first of a series of our printed issues. This is our test, our forerunner, so that people can see what the comics and have a feel of what it will be like at first before we start releasing all the issues all together. Fantastic. It's really nice. It's, it's um, standard. Everything is just on point. You can see the color separation. Um, it's glossy paper. We're proud of it, actually. How did people react to Jita's comic book creation? It seems that superheroes are long overdue and urgently needed, we discovered, as we spoke to these children in the Badia slums. When thief want to go and thief, I will stop them and I will give them to police. Many people, they are dying. You go and help them. I want to change house breaking. If there is a superhero in Lagos, I will tell him to do so many things because Nigeria now, we are suffering. See the way our people live in, see where we are living. Or oh, assume I am the one, I will do more than they were doing in Nigeria. So that they will know I'm an African hero. You've got it right, says the founder of Comic Republic. Money comes in through advertisement and from startup investments from America. Jita Martin wants to expand his business further, and he gets some advice from content director Akintobi Kalanjaya. It's a new spin on traditional mythologies, so um, yeah, it's good. It's, going to, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's good stuff right here. Why we need um, stories about African superheroes is because, for example, when I was growing up, you know, I, I remember that when I needed to make a decision, I would think about what would superheroes do. When you see somebody that is the same skin tone as you, comes from the same place that you're from, can relate with the same problems that you have, it's easy for you to believe that if he can do it, I can do it. Many of the subjects are drawn from day-to-day -day life in Lagos. Different locations also help in the creation of new stories. You know, we see our African comics, we see our characters as a bridge between Africa and the world in general. We can all be heroes, and you don't have to have superpowers to do good. That's what our comics say. This makes me want to be a superhero myself. I wonder what my superhero name would have been. EMJ. Sounds more like it. <laughs> but do you want to see more African superheroes made by Comic Republic? Check out our African Roots playlist where the Nigerian comic artist, in cooperation with DW, have interesting portraits of influential figures in African history. Our personal superheroes. You can also access all comics from Comic Republic on their website for free. Absolutely free. Check this out.